Hello friends, I'm Dr. Renee Harmon. I'm the author of Surfing the Waves of Alzheimer's, a memoir about my husband Harvey and his time with younger onset Alzheimer's disease. Our daughters were 14 and 17 years old at the time of his diagnosis, and our younger daughter got married this past Saturday. It was a wonderful ceremony and reception, not to mention the bridesmaids luncheon and the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner and the all day getting ready. On Sunday and Monday, I still had uh, out of town guests and we were able to play games and eat leftover wedding food. But today I'm finally alone and able to reflect on the weekend. First of all, this couple is amazing. Granted, they had a best they have a best friend who is a professional wedding planner who helped tremendously, but they did all the planning themselves. There really wasn't that much for me to do other than sign the check. But um, that gave me the freedom and the time to really plan out a thoughtful toast. Well, it was really more of a speech than a toast. Um, I was on stage um, and presented this toast right after the couple was introduced and danced their first dance together. I was able to uh, speak directly to them as well as to the uh, gathered crowd of guests. And it was so wonderful to feel the love that was surrounding them and all of us that were there. In the speech, I expressed how pivotal her father's diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease was in her life. Because of her experiences assisting her father, at age 17, she decided to sign up to be a counselor at a camp for special needs adults. I'm not sure that she would have had the courage to do this had it not been for her experiences with her father. But that's where she met her now husband. And how could I not help but be impressed by a young man, 17 years old, who willingly signs up to be a counselor at this type of camp? Well, he was the first person that she ever told about her father. And she, he was the only person for a long time that she trusted enough with that information. And he supported her emotionally through the duration of Harvey's illness and even provided uh, some care to, for him. We were all together, the, my entire uh, nuclear family, at Harvey's bedside when he breathed his last. It was Harvey and me, our older daughter, and her husband, and our younger daughter, and her then boyfriend. And what a gift that was for all of us to be together at his bedside. We knew then that we were a family. Because of my daughter's experiences at camp and at home, she decided to major in education at college and she's now a special education teacher in an elementary school. So her career path and her choice of a life partner are tied directly to her father's Alzheimer's disease and are pivotal in cre were pivotal in creating her as the caring, empathic person that she is. I wrote her a poem on the occasion of her of her uh, wedding, but I, I'm, I'm not willing to to uh, share it here. It is for her, but I would like to share the last stanza of the poem that I wrote for our older daughter when she married. It's printed in its entirety in my memoir, and I think it, the poem is fitting for both of our daughters. So bear with me as I, as I read it. And I want to remember how singular this moment is at the altar, surrounded by all who love her, a congregation of family and friends and saints, because I know he is here too. Spectacled large gray eyes, standing tall on his runner's legs, here in our hearts, here in his flash forward memory, here. Watching this dandelion strong daughter of ours in down like a tool parachute away. 
I am so proud of these two strong daughters of ours. Um, despite all they endured, they are resilient and kind, and I could not love them more. Thank you. Be well and keep your balance.